I ain't buying no three dollar donuts. <laughs> If I gotta wait till I get home and nuke a chicken salad sandwich, I'm gonna do that. <laughs>
I was actually trying to piss somebody off, but apparently they don't get the idea. I guess. Sean, thank you, buddy. All right. Have a good one. I'm big telling callers trying to sell callers. Yeah, I'm about to holler my old buddy over here if he makes his plan there. Mr. Blackie. Oh, wow. Hey, what's up with you? Hey, man, what's going on? What's going on, man? Good to see you. They don't want his camera's going to be up here, did you? Hey! Yeah, that's Mr. Lackey, man. He bought a camper from us, so. I don't know, about a year ago, you know, me and Milton Liberty, man, we became good friends and everything. So every time he, he's an older guy, man, he's lost his wife, so whenever he needs help, me and he'll go out there and help him out, man. We do a little construction on it, man. If he has any problems, we set it up for him. Anything he needs, we take care of him. And uh, he's got a little bit of a roof leak, man. That's what I was talking to him about. We're going to go out there and try to patch it up for him. Awesome. I don't have hell know what the hell I'm doing, man. I got some. <laughs> I got some rubber flex steel, man. I'm gonna try to hook him up, man. He's just got a small leak. He's, he keeps his payment up. He don't grab about nothing. So we try to help him out, man. He's a great coach. He's a good friend. His wife died about, just died probably about a year or two ago. They was together 55 years. And he's kind of been down and out about it, man. So he gives me a call up, man, when he's spinning down. And I go up there and spend time with him, hang out with him, shoot the shit and everything. That's awesome. Talk to him. Yeah, he was happy to see you. Say, ah, that's my friend. He's got a Dodge Caravan. Hey, buddy. He's made the whole back of it. Like for all of his cats. He'll show it to you. Hey, buddy. Did I sit down and be one of your satisfied paying customers? Do they have a court run out there? Looks hey. like you move things around over there. Hey, see if, will you call see if Greg's still here? I'm going to walk out there and have a look at myself. Actually, I've been working for NHRA and NASCAR for about 20 years. Okay. Since COVID, we've been taking a break, and we're thinking about going back out with the Shrine Circus. And this would, well, this would be all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let me see if that cord's plugged in. We're gonna get you hooked up right quick. See what's. You bring you your fur babies with you? No. I had a Class C motorhome once. I Did you? Down. Yeah, those are nice. You know, it's kind of like a pop-up camper, but the middle part is bigger metal, yeah. you know? With my fur babies, they love that kind of stuff. Oh, they so, tear to pieces, yeah. wouldn't they? Uh, no, not really. They wouldn't? They're pretty good cats. Good. But here's the deal. It's light. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This isn't the one he's buying that North Trail. Oh. He'll take care of you. If you have any concerns, he'll address them for All you, right. buddy. Thank you. I did better on the application than I expected. Oh, you did. Thank you, buddy. I had five references, and they're all good. Good deal. It's not got much room for me and the wife and our seven cats. Now we're down from eight. This time, two years ago, we had like 42. Six females got pregnant at the same time. And on Easter Sunday, they started popping them out. Where's the control panel? Is this it? It's right here. Okay, yeah. It comes in. Let me go look at it outside. Excuse me. Okay, it closes good. When somebody buys a camper, we want to check it from front to back before they leave. We like to check everything. We even like to hook water to them. Uh, the power, gas, whatever, just to show them everything works. The camper he's buying needs a little TLC, which he knew that before he came, and we discounted it for that. And uh, we're gonna hook it up to his van, make sure his van can pull it before you do any paperwork, because if it won't pull it, there's no use in doing paperwork, so. There's only one other thing. It's a major thing. Yeah. Will it sit on my hitch without bottoming me out? We'll figure it out. I've got cargo coils are, uh, well, what I'd rather do is, before we do any paperwork, maybe get Greg to get you to pull your truck over there, or your van over there. Because if it's not gonna pull, it's not yeah. gonna be any good. And that's a new transmission, so it should pull fine, but the weight, Yeah. if it bottoms out, then them cargo coil or uh, what Terrible. do you call those shocks with the coils? I Load know. levelers. I'm gonna have to go bigger, but or air, but I'll do it. But tell Greg I said to help you get it hooked. Right. Because here's the deal, we want to make sure oh, yeah. it's gonna work. If I can't pull out, it don't do me no Yeah, we don't want to waste time doing a bunch Let of paperwork. Right yeah, right. I got you. All right. Make sure everything's good before you sign paperwork, and then you're like, well, my, my van won't pull it. That wouldn't be good. 
He seemed to think that the weight was right because on the plate it's from 4,007 to 5'2". Well, the van itself with standard shocks, heavy duty, will go 5'5". Five, five. Okay. But now that I've added load levers, it should go 6. Yeah. And we should be fine. Okay. I don't want you to get to Gadsden and call and say, man, I'm having problems, you know. Yeah. I was going to give you hundreds, but somehow it ain't working out that way. All right, you ready? Yeah, we're trying to make it work for October. Oh, it's just, uh, wait a minute. This is August. Yeah. So you're going to take my first payment October 3rd? That's two months. I know. That's months. great. Yeah. Oh, you just gave me breathing space, brother. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, doggone. I just wanted 30 days. Thank you. Do you need me to just do it 30? No, let's just go ahead. I mean, uh, well, it's going to happen. All right, this or I'm is, gonna die. What happens if I die? You just come get it from her, right? Well, unless she wants to keep it, it's up to her. Yeah, I we would not die. take it from her. And say, for instance, something happened to you, and your wife says, "I'd really like to keep this because he loved it or whatever." We would let her keep paying for it and be hers. Right? So, what am I getting a copy of all that? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're gonna keep cussing. It's sir. I'm not a sir. The oh. queen has not dubbed me sir. Don't. <laughs> you get a copy of everything. Thank you, Chris, very much. No, I appreciate it. Third you. or fourth, fifth time is charm, huh? You dang right, brother. Thanks for the help. No, thank you, I brother. Appreciate you work. Thanks for the 60 days. You have no idea. We can eat next month now. That's right. That's <laughs> what you gotta do, man. I get food boxes from United Way already. That's awesome. I ain't ashamed of it. Yeah, I built it. It was a cage. I took it apart. See the sections? I yeah. wired them all together and used the clamps. So this is a cage and then that's a chicken run. Seven cats. Our our personal stuff goes in here. Only the cooler goes here. And it all it gets them there. They've been to racetracks, and the only thing that scares them when uh, when they do a burnout at the water box, and they jolt. And when NASCAR, when a bunch of them come around the curve where we're at, they get all shaky. That's another example. He's from Tennessee. That's the power of social media. I mean, he he saw that camper on Facebook and come to check it out. He's been here before, but he finally found one that he liked.